Guten Morgen, mein Herrin. <laughs> hey, on it. Another load of kraut chipfers. <laughs> That's 100 hats with shaving brushes on the side. <laughs> Let's sell them, you know, Captain Peacock. It is not for us to reason why, Mr. Humphreys. Young Mr. Grace, in his wisdom, has seen fit to mount a sales campaign to push German goods. But it's difficult enough to sell English goods without a lot of rubbish from the damn botch. <laughs> that attitude is not going to help us very much, Mr. Granger. We are in the common market after all, you know. I haven't sold one of these for 15 years. Now that, Mr. Humphreys, is a dress stick for evening wear. It's the sort of thing one, uh, one carries to the opera. Yes, I suppose it'd be quite handy to fight your way to the bar at the end. <laughs> Count Poppycock, be getting your hands off my schnitzel. <laughs> Put that away, Mr. Humphreys. It's for display purposes only. Here, listen to this. You'll never guess what the German for cufflinks is. What? Manchetten can not fuck. <laughs> I don't expect they'll sell many with a name like that. <laughs> hey, on it. Twelve pairs of uh, leather swimming trunks. <laughs> Lederhosen. Oh, have you been to Germany, Mr. Humphreys? Yes, I was there a few summers ago, camping. <laughs> Very hard wearing, these, you know, but you must never have them dry cleaned. My friend used to just rub his over with Ronock. <laughs> this is a funny name for a sweater. Mit der Hand and a washing. That means wash by hand. <laughs> it's a good job you parlay the Deutsch, Captain Peter. <laughs> I had to study it during the war. Ausfahrt. <laughs> beg your pardon? Ausfahrt. What's that mean then? The way out, Mr. Bash. Oh. I suggest you take that one as we open in a few moments. You ought not to be in the common market. I don't trust that Adenauer. Blimey, he went years ago. I'm not surprised. <laughs> Very shifty-looking fellow. Oh, say, look at this. Sex underhosen. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what's in here. Well, don't get carried away, Mrs Slocum. Unterhosen, literally translated, means under trousers. Under trousers? Do you mean knickers? <laughs> I'm not selling German sex knickers. Sex, Mrs. Slocum, is the word they use in Germany for six. Oh, what do they use for sex? <laughs> Same as I use everywhere else. <laughs> All right, I'm going. No worry. Here are, Mrs. Slocum. Twelve brass. Oh, I wonder what the German is for that. Buston Halter. <laughs> Buston Halter. Doesn't it sound crude? Yes, come on, let's see what they look like. Right. <laughs> Buston Halter. You could carry a lot of coal in these. <laughs> Whatever size is it? Says here, clean. <laughs> Klein, Miss Browns. That means small. <laughs> the well built, those German girls over there. Oh, just imagine seven old days of trying to knock this lot out. It'll be a disaster. Like that Russian cosmetic week. It would have gone very well if you hadn't mixed up the hair lacquer with the underarm deodorant. <laughs> That was very embarrassing, that was. <laughs> My wife got out of the bath, gave a couple of squirts under the arm, went to pull the blind down, and was stuck in front of the window for half an hour. <laughs> well, couldn't you have pulled the blind down? No, I was too busy outside sitting up deck chairs and taking the money. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mesh, Ausfahrt. <laughs> Schweinhunt. <laughs> ah, this is everyone. Stand by for the mad rush. Guten Morgen, mein Herr. Willkommen zu den Grace Brothers. Look at him, his German phrases. Morgen, He'll be clicking his heels in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning, sir. Guten Morgen. Ah. <laughs> Guten Morgen, mein Herr. Willkommen zu den Grace Brothers. Ah, die sprechen Deutsch. Ich möchte einen warmen Wintermantel. Das Wetter hier ist sehr kalt. <laughs> I'm afraid you've gone a little beyond me there. We've only just started our German week. Uh, what were you looking for? I am for a coat looking. I wish a warm coat because it is cold. Very methodical, the Germans. Coat, yes, certainly so. Uh, Herr Granger, raus schnell. 
just like cold it's. <laughs> this gentleman wants a coat to keep out the cold. Oh, yes, the, the weather has been rather chilly, hasn't it? Wie bitte? Oh, absolutely bitter. <laughs> now, uh, we have a range here made in Bavarian wool. Not Bavarian. We are here for the buying of the Harris Tweed. <laughs> but they don't make Harris Tweed in Germany. <laughs> I am knowing this. That is why we are here. But I'm afraid that this week we are only selling German goods. Why are the British selling German goods? Are you not proud to be British? Oh, yes, we are very proud to be British, aren't we, Mr. Humphrey? Mm, bursting with pride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming out all over the place, Mr. Humphrey. <laughs> <laughs> aren't you proud to be German? Of course we are proud to be German. Well, then why won't you buy a German coat? Mm, not a German hat with plenty. My husband would not wear a hat like this. That is for the tourists. You are a tourist. They are for English tourists. Are you so stupid to think I will return to Germany from a holiday in England wearing a stupid German hat to think I will Thank you for your custom. Silly, bull-necked crout. <laughs> German we got off to a good start. <laughs> we could hardly expect to sell to the Germans themselves. But I'm sure we shall have no difficulty at all in uh, attracting the British customers. You know, there's only two things I like about Germany. Kurt Jorgens and Gorgonzola. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgonzola isn't German. Oh, well, there's only one thing I like then. No, no, I tell a lie. I like Irving Berlin. <laughs> Guten Morgen, uh, uh, mein in Gnädiges Bustenhaus. Uh, no. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Are you being served? Just having a look. So is he. <laughs> well, uh, uh, we've imported some uh, very interesting German merchandise. Perhaps I can show you to the ladies' counter. Um, uh, this, for instance. I haven't worn one of those for years. Don't you really? <laughs> I don't agree with them. I see. Mm. Well, I, uh, I take it you agree with these. I'll take care of this customer, thank you, Captain Pico. <laughs> now, madam, you're under no obligation, of course. But may I draw your attention to this rather nice line in Westphalian tights that have just come in? We have them in two shades, have we not, Miss Brahms? Yes, waist and swaltz, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> From the look of it, black and white. <laughs> and then we have these pigskin handbags from the Black Forest, not to mention a line in plastic Max from Hamburg. <laughs> yes, the handbags are quite nice, but not really what I'm looking for. What is Madam looking for? The ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left at the Ausfahrt. <laughs> that considering we've been here since the crack of dawn this morning, the management would have had more consideration than keep us sitting on our jacksies for the post-mortem. <laughs> well, I can't wait more than ten minutes because I'm having a bath tonight. <laughs> it's treats. <laughs> well, I can't get the old boiler working. <laughs> having a bath with Mrs Granger, are you? <laughs> I don't find that amusing. Uh, come to think of it, neither would I. You know, this sort of thing just isn't fair on my pussy. <laughs> she has a go at the furniture if I'm not there prompt. <laughs> well, my oven switches itself on at seven o'clock. Well, you're all right then, aren't you? I'm not. My slippers are in there. <laughs> I usually give them five minutes on Regulo 2 and then it's just like the rice pudding. <laughs> well, Shirley and I are going to the pictures. I haven't said yes yet. I wasn't going to ask you that question till after we came out. <laughs> I don't know why you bother going out with him at all. Well, it's either that or taking me mum's washing to the laundryette. I'm not going there again. I've seen more of your mother's underwear than I have of yours. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. I say, it's very good of you all to stay. Oh, you don't mind a bit, sir. Oh, no, of course not. 
We all have the good of the firm at heart. Well, now, let's get down to it, shall we? Haven't you got a chair, Peacock? Get a chair, Mr. Lucas? I've got one. <laughs> get me a chair, Mr. Lucas. I hope this isn't going to take long, Mr. Rumble, because it's very unfair on Mrs. Slocum's pussy. <laughs> I'll be as brief as I can. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Lucas. It's always a pleasure. Well, Mr. Rumbold has asked us to stay behind and uh, report on the success of the first day of our German week. Yes, well, now, how did you find it? Mr. Granger? A complete disaster. I sold one pair of strumpfs. <laughs> I see. Uh, what exactly are strumpfs? It's a damn silly name they use for socks. <laughs> well, that's not very good. No, we'll have to pull our strumps off. <laughs> Did you fare any better, Mrs. Slocum? No. Everything's still on their Clyde bugles. <laughs> I'm not sure whether that's good or bad. <laughs> well, what are they? Coat hangers. <laughs> yes. Encouraging to see you're getting a grasp of the lingo. Yes, I even know the German for corsets. Excellent. What is it? Corsets. <laughs> Spelled with a K. <laughs> we're coming along well. I thought we were here to push goods, not pick up Jerry words. <laughs> what is the departmental total? Oh, I have the summary here, sir. Ah. Thirty-two pounds. Thirty-two pence. <laughs> <laughs> Those were my strumps. <laughs> is that all? Good heavens, that's a disaster. I told you it was. Well, is that all, Mr. Rumbold? No, 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 please sit down, Mrs. Slocum. I've got to work out where we went wrong. It's the fault of whose ever stupid idea it was. <laughs> it was Mr. Rumbold's idea. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the idea. Could be the way you're carrying it out. I've already noted during this meeting that the word Jerry has been used. Do I detect an anti-German feeling? Yes. <laughs> Some of us have long memories, you know. I haven't forgotten being flung flat on me back on Clapham Common by a landmine. <laughs> and the German Air Force was responsible. All the other times she was flat on her back, the American Air Force was responsible. <laughs> That's it. I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs. Slocum. I'm sorry. It was just a joke. I was only joking. In very poor taste. That's the sort of thing I have to put up with all day long. You want to tell him off? Um, you're reprimanded, Mr. Lucas, and that's official. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Rumbold. I didn't realise it was going to be taken quite as seriously as that. <laughs> now then. Oh, where are we in our conference? Mrs. Slocum was remembering being flat on her back on Clapham. <laughs> Can we knock it off, please? She even remembers what she said. <laughs> Just bring us back to the point. Oh, please do. Now, I feel there's a certain amount of resistance on the part of our customers to German goods. I'm fed up with the way the papers keep on about how hard the Germans work and how well they're doing. They're too damn cocky, in my opinion. We did win, you know. A <laughs> long time ago. Today, we're supposed to be on the same side. Yes, now let's examine this whole German operation step by step. Or well, goose step by goose step. <laughs> First, is there anything wrong with our display? Well, I think we've gone far too far. I mean, those signs, for instance. When a customer sees exit and entrance, he knows where he is. What goes through his mind when he sees Einfahrt and Ausfahrt? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. We're trying to create an atmosphere. One dear old lady customer of mine got a terrible shock. She was caught short and walked straight through the door marked Heron. <laughs> You should have directed her to the door marked Darman. I didn't have time. She saw the word her and was off. <laughs> and I'm here to tell you that she won't make the same mistake again. <laughs> well, there's certainly nothing wrong with the goods. They're all first class, hand picked by myself. With respect, Mr. Rumbold, and I think I'm unanimous in this, you've laid your hands on some very coarse Boston halters. <laughs> Perhaps we need to make the German brand image a, a happier, jollier affair to counteract memories of the past. And how are we going to do that? Well, perhaps a little music and a, a wine bar with uh, German serving wenches in traditional costume. <laughs> Trust him to come up with that one. <laughs> 
I like what I'm hearing. I think we're on the right track. Yes, we could turn the old apartment into White Horse Inn and have Captain Peacock dressed up as the student prince. <laughs> yes, I like what I'm hearing. I think we're on the right track. <laughs> yes, indeed. I think Mr. Rambold ought to dress up as something. Yes, wasn't Frankenstein a journey? <laughs> I, uh, I wouldn't be able to take part, of course, in case I was uh, summoned to a board meeting. But I don't see why Captain Peacock shouldn't participate. I can think of lots of reasons why I shouldn't participate. <laughs> Somebody has to have authority on the floor, and these clothes that I wear symbolise that authority. Why don't you dress up as Hitler? <laughs> you know, I'm sure we're absolutely on the right track. I shall put all these ideas that I've had in front of young Mr Grace and see what he thinks. Let me say here and now that I am not going to dress up as Hitler. <laughs> of course you're not, Captain Peacock. We shall just have to find something that gives you the appropriate air of authority. Uh, Mr. Grace, Rumbold here. Uh, Rumbold, yes. Uh, we used to have a Rumbold in charge of the third floor. <laughs> I am Rumbold in charge of the third floor. Oh, good. I'm glad you're back with us. <laughs> it's about the German week, sir. Ah, yes, sir. Uh, how's it going? Well, the uh, figures are a little better today, sir. 64 pence. <laughs> ah, another pair of strumps. <laughs> yes, well, of course, I realise there is room for improvement, and I have put into force the proposals I put to the board meeting yesterday. What were they? <laughs> to make the German brandy binge a happier, jollier affair. And to that end, I've uh, arranged for my staff to stay behind and to demonstrate the sort of thing I suggested. Well, what's that? <laughs> well, perhaps you could come down and have a look. Well, um, I hope it won't take long. I always go to the club on Tuesday evening. Oh, oh yes, the bridge club. No, 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 the strip club. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Oh. <coughs> By the way, I've arranged for my secretary to hand out the drinks at the wine bar. Oh, well, uh, that's the one with the uh, nice legs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come down as soon as I can. <laughs> I thought you would. I've brought you a glass of the German wine to try, Mr. Rumbold. Oh. Hmm. Excellent. Uh, how do you find the costume? Comfortable? I think the blouse should be a bit lower. I, uh, I doubt it. Don't, don't, don't lean over too much. <laughs> I'm sure the bodice could be a bit tighter, you know. Uh, do you think you could put your finger on the knot for me, please? <laughs> if you could just put it about there, that's yeah. it. Uh, could you push harder, otherwise it'll all fall apart? Oh. <laughs> Enter! <laughs> I seem to be caught. Call back later. <laughs> I, I, I mean, Miss Thorpe wasn't tight enough and I was just helping her. So I see. Shall I do it again, sir? No. no. I'll come back later. <laughs> so I, I'll have one more go. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Damn it. Well, I know it's after hours, sir, but uh, if you've quite finished, uh, I'd like to have a word with you. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, go and uh, attend to your stand. Now, uh, what is it, Peacock? Peacock. Uh, yes, uh, during our discussion, you didn't tell me that my, my costume would give me the appropriate air of authority. Well, I'm getting a lot of air, but very little authority. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have my permission to wear a bigger brush in your hat. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Rowe. Now, um, young Mr. Grace will be coming down soon to give us the go-ahead on the project. Mm, well, the sooner the better. Mrs. Slocum has spent the last 35 minutes in her fitting room sampling the German wine. <laughs> You'd better get back there. Yes, sir. Uh, quiet a moment. Hmm? What's that strange creaking noise? My trousers, they're not run in yet. Yo, 
load, 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 But my eyes are watering. <laughs> come on, come on, Rumpelstiltskin. There's nobody here. <laughs> no, I, I haven't worn knickerbockers since I was 11. You've forgotten to put your shoes on. <laughs> my feet have been giving me hell after all that dancing. Well, I'm putting my foot down. The dance is out. I can't see that being dressed up like this is going to attract customers. Well, it will. Mind you, they'll be the wrong sort. <laughs> <laughs> On the other hand, that might attract some customers. Yeah, listen, I don't know how to wear me braces. Should they be like that or like that? <laughs> You've got a problem there. <laughs> Well, you're not supposed to be men. You should know. We haven't got the same problem. <laughs> Why don't you leave them off altogether? If I did that, me trousers would fall down. That could be the gimmick we're looking for. <laughs> you don't. I feel a right fairy. Aren't you the lucky one? <laughs> This hat's too tight. <laughs> it's making me feel quite giddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, if you could only see yourselves, you look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I see this wine is very innocuous. If you want to watch it, it creeps up on you. <laughs> I think it's overtaken her. <laughs> hey, Miss Brahms, come here, come here. You want to wear your braces like I do. <laughs> it's more feminine. <laughs> Here, you haven't been at the wine, have you? Cos you're swaving about a lot. <laughs> you have to control yourself. Oh, well, in for a fennec, in for a pound, we might as well all have one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> drink, 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 two eyes and a bread! <laughs> Goes the profit on the strumps. <laughs> Guess who? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Rumble wants to have a look at you. <coughs> oh, magnificent. You all look quite authentic, especially the ladies. <laughs> Twiddle his knob, somebody is out of focus. <laughs> oh. I see what you mean. I think I'd better go and wait at the lift for young Mr. Grace. Yeah. Places, is everyone. Captain Peacock, are you free? Well, of course I'm free. We're shut. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish to tell you on behalf of my colleagues and myself uh, that we will not do the start. Yes. Well, in view of Mrs Slocum's condition, I'm inclined to agree with you. I knew it was a waste of time rehearsing it. What? 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 <laughs> they dance! They don't want oh, to do oh, it! Oh, 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 Stop it, somebody. She'll do herself a mischief. <laughs> Once that lot starts wobbling, you'll never stop it. <laughs> He's coming. Places, everybody. Places, places. She's here. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Grace. And Rambo. Rambo. Who are all these damn Germans in the lift? <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am, sir. Peacock, I want to work with you. Yes, sir. Who are all these damn Germans in the lift? The German band that you ordered to play for the German dance. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, it's a German band, sir. You agreed to it while you were having your nap at the meeting. Oh, yes, yes. And we thought we'd start by offering our customers a glass of wine. Uh, would you like to try it, sir? Oh, how very kind. Yes, sir. Nice to see you, Mr. Grace. Good evening, Sonny. <laughs> Speak English, my dear. Rumble. Ah, you're doing very well, I'm sure. <laughs> I hope he likes it all. <clears throat> <laughs> I think 
think I should tell you now, sir, that we're not doing the dance. But you've got to do the dance. The answer is no. But I've paid for the band. It's more than my job's worth. I'm sorry, sir. If I topple Peacock, I'll drag you down with me, and you'll get nowhere without a reference. The men are behind me, sir. True. <laughs> well, let me put it like this. If you don't do the dance, I shall stop the money for the band out of your wages. Well, do the dance. We're looking at Not yet, Mrs. Slocum. Not yet. Oh, I only just remember I've done the half of it already. <laughs> what is happening, Mr. Peacock? Well, sir, this is the general atmosphere that the customers will encounter, and then from time to time, to attract attention, we shall break into a good-natured German folk dance. <laughs> but I don't suppose you want to bother with that now. Well, I might as well add my money's worth. <laughs> yes, well, after all, it is your money. <laughs> right, uh, places, everybody. Are we, are we doing it now? Yes, Mr. Stanley, come on, pay attention. The German band, ready? Ready when you are, mate. <laughs> Three, and... <laughs> I was gentle. I just went like that. You did not. You went like that. <laughs> I did not go like that. Well, next time I shall go like that. <laughs> In that case, I shall go like that. <laughs> Two can play in that game. <laughs> what this has been a great eye-opener to me. Yes, it will. Uh, apart from that last unfortunate incident, what did you think of it? Well, um... I'd like to thank you all for uh, making up my mind for me, and um, Grace Brothers is coming out of the common market. Ah, oh, bloody, we just start to enjoy ourselves as well. All together, and... <laughs>